M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I just want to show you my PiStar hotspot transmitting the pager information using DAPnet. Now we've had to register for an account with DAPnet, including a transmitting account. What you're hearing in the background is my ICOM 52 just receiving the pager tones from my MMDVM hotspot. So if we look here at the configuration, so this is the dashboard, we've got the normal dashboard. If I want, I can go on to my DMR, DSTAR or Fusion, but further down we've enabled POXAC. So how do we enable that? We go configuration, scroll down, POXAC, we apply that and the mode we want to use, scroll further. And when we apply that, we get this here. We get my server that we're using, for POXAC, we've got my call sign, the frequency that's being transmitted to. Now this should be a pager. I haven't got a pager, so I'm just showing you the signal going into my ICON 52. But if I had a pager, these, these would be the messages being transmitted, which we can read using my hotspot. And also this authorization key, you get that from DAPnet. Now if you want a DAPnet account, just go to this DAPnet site here. I'll put the link in and then they call it opening a ticket so go to the I'll, I'll put a, a link in for the ticket and you request an account give them your ham dl's call sign etc but anyway the other thing you do is when you're in expert here go to dapnet api and you would put in your your call sign and your password for your account for dapnet and then at the, go back to configuration We've shown you the other, the other part. So if you're on the dashboard, what happens here? Actually, no, we need to stay in configuration a minute. Scroll down. We can put in the frequency that we want the POXAC to transmit to. So most uh, most pages that you buy, you know, they, they have a preset frequency. So you would put that in here with your authorization key so that it would receive it. The, the number of the pager, you could also... Um, Give that to DAPnet, the RIC number. So let's go back to dashboard. So every time we get a message, we're actually receiving it here. Okay, a lot of it is just lots of numbers and letters, as you can see. I have seen the odd message come up, but at the moment we're getting these, you know, not many details here. But every time there is a transmission, and it's every few seconds, you will see, you will hear the rate my ICON 52 make it sound, and you will see this change here target there you go and then in a few seconds this part will change that it's just changed then m6lsj i sent to see on my pi store that's my friend in cheddar m6lsj he's just sent me a message he's using i'll just show you a genesis hotspot go down to db mega scroll down and what he's doing is that he's using one of these hotspots where you tap the screen and you can actually send the message straight from the hotspot. It's a Pi Star hotspot, MNDVM made by DV Mega. You can also use this system with your open spot and probably other MNDVM hats. And it's all enabled by the DAPnet system here. So you need to uh, contact DAPnet and then go to help. Uh, let's find their ticketing thing. See if I can see it here on this page. Otherwise, just put into Google DAPnet open ticket, DAPnet open ticket, like so. And then look, DAPnet support center, and there's a ticket. And you apply for, a, first of all, an account where you select DAPnet account with RIC. And then once that's gone through and you've got your account number, then you select your new DAPnet transmitter. Same account, but they give you a different password. For transmitting so bye for now i hope you find it interesting you can hear it in the background what i need now is a budget um pager i'm sure we can find a cheap one on ebay so we can start testing the pager part of this bye for now seven three all the